Hello everyone. So today I am going to work on this feature for the skill tree. When I hover over one of the skills, any of these skills, you see details of that skill. So, but if I click on any of the skills, this uh, window persists. So it uh, stays even if I hover over any other skill. If I want to hide it, either I have to press cancel or click anywhere else on the screen. So once it's gone, again, when I hover over any of the skills, you can see the details of that skill. So right, so this uh, kind of uh, tooltip window, that's what we are going to work on today. And before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects that I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access anything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And here is the full playlist of this series. Everything is explained in detail from scratch here so you can follow these episodes and implement everything by yourself so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description below right now let's get back to the today's tutorial so right now what happens in the skill tree is uh, when i hover over these skills i don't see what they are i have to click only when i click i get these details and if i click somewhere else it goes away or if i click cancel it goes away but what i want to do is when i hover over it i should see the details but if i already have a clicked have clicked on a skill button and at that moment if i hover over something else i should not see the details of that uh, we should give the priority to this existing uh, window that we forced to show okay so to implement this uh, let's go to our vp ui skill tree and here this is the skill tree window and right now i am using this show skill details function which just show the skills the details of the skill that we clicked on so this is called if i go to find references here we bind this show skill details to the on click dispatch in our skill button so this is a skill button which is this one so here let's we have on click dispatch and let me duplicate this can i duplicate this So I'll add another dispatch on our dispatch and just like this one we need to have a skill button a reference passed which is skill button skill button and I'll add an additional boolean variable hovering so when we the end hovering i will call this with the false so i think we already have yeah here on hovered for this button for this button i have this on hovered and unhovered on hovered and on unhovered events so here I'll call um, dispatch with a true. 
to by myself. Similarly, on unhover for the same dispatch, but this with a false, so that whoever listening to oh, this event will know we have stopped hovering. Okay. Now for the skill tree. Here is the skill details panel. Now, as I said, if I click on a button and and we have we are already showing the details of that clicked skill, we should give priority to that. So in that case, we should not uh, show any details of the hovered button. So to consider that, here I'll add a new button. So this will be true when I show the details of a skill after clicking on a button. So click show. The skill details panel. When do I find? Okay, I see. Tell a custom event. So that we don't need to duplicate this logic anywhere else. And here also. Oh, this is where we hide, but where do we show this? That happens in the skill tree. And right now we only have this show skill details. So I add hmm, two more functions. Click show skill details. Here is the input. We need a skill button. Which is skill button. And let's add another one. A skill details. So this is the layer, the one that we show, like the tool tip. Here also, we need an input from the skill details button. And also a boolean. This is to match this dispatch we created here, hovering dispatch. So, hovering. Now I'll bind this. Yeah. When we initialize the tree, to click dispatch instead of show skill details, I'll bind clicked show skill details. Bind depend to on our dispatch. Event here. Now here. So when we click show, we can call show skill details with this, and before that. We need to set this as the click show. Set as set click show to true so that we know 
we are forcing to show the details of this variable this skill not just how I know it it will be used when you are hovering it over the button so here before we display we need to check if we already if you are already showing the skill details panel with the clicked skill so get this get clicked show if this is false oh here first we need to consider if we want to show it or if we want to hide it so if we want to show it oh wait a second later so here if this is true we can't really do anything we should ignore whatever we are trying to do here but if this is false we can then we need to consider if we are hovering if this is true we can get the skill details panel and show we can call this show skill details if it is false we can get the skill details panel Are there any other places that we call this height instead of just getting this hidden we should call variables will be set okay. yeah. to test yeah. okay. now oh. click I see click away I don't it goes away but if I hover again I don't see that hmm. oh we have to it should be set of false now it should work. Let's see. Oh, we need a debug point. Okay. Go here. Yeah. Power away. It goes. Okay. Let me see. What if I click? Now, when I hover over anything, it doesn't go away and show this this is prioritized if I click it goes away and hover over anything I can see the details all right so yeah great that's all I want to do in this episode all right so thanks for watching as always updated budget parts will be available for download in the patron page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in the next episode goodbye